In this session we'll cover how to upload images into your website and then we'll go through how to embed those images into your web pages. To start, click on the website images folder. And this lists here currently the pictures that exist within the Black Thread Finch website. So to load our image up, we select new image. This console is displayed. We click inside the image box and you can see the hair, uh, arrow changes to a hand. We then choose a file that will be used. And we've got one here called flowers. Now you notice here the size, this is an 8 kilobyte file, so very, very small. And the dimensions are 64 by 114. Now try to keep your dimensions for your images under 200 by 200 pixels because the uh, image is going to be displayed on the web page and if it's too big then it'll just take up the whole page. We um, are just using website images here to use as part of our context. So you click open once you select your file and then click OK here and give your uh, file a name. So we'll call this flowers on sync and click OK. And you can see it updates uh, within our listing of website images here. Flowers on sync, flowers on JPG. Now we need to remember that because we're going to embed that name inside the web page. So let's go up, click on our website pages, and we're going to load this testing page we've uh, created previously. Yours may or may not look like this, so make your testing, and we can see it in framework for web page. So we go down here and we're going to type in the name of our file, flowers.jpg, and we're going to click save. And we're going to update and refresh our page, and you can see that our image is now displayed in the web page. Now, if there's some text to appear on the left hand side of this image, just consult your help. We click on images. And you see here image.gif will give us the image on the page. If we then put an um, arrow to the right of the uh, image name, we can then put some describing text to it and you can see the text will display on the right hand side of it. If we turn our arrow around, the text will appear on the left. So let's give that a go. And we put our arrow pointing towards it, and this means the text will be to the right of the image. And we'll also do the opposite and put the, the arrow pointing to the right, which means the text is shown on the left of the image. So once you've done that, let's press save and have a look at what it looks like on our web page. Put some spaces between your images so that um, they will display underneath it, otherwise the image will actually display to the right as shown here. So I'll press save. And then we press refresh and the images appear below each other. That's it until the next video.